Setting up a test project in a model-based environment can often be a time-consuming task. In addition to providing considerable information about the structure and the interfaces of the system under test, we will also need to create test harnesses for different execution levels like model in the loop or software in the loop. Due to the unique integration with DSpace Target Link, this whole process is fully automated in BTC Embedded Platform. All interfaces, including internal calibration and display variables, as well as special AutoSAR interfaces, are automatically detected and handled during simulation on both model and code levels. The profile creation begins by selecting the respective menu option. On the first page of the upcoming wizard, it is possible to select the model which you would like to test. By clicking the Next button, we can use the convenient wizard pages, making it possible to exclude certain subsystems or local signals if they do not explicitly show up in the test project. You can also configure which C code file should be considered for the integrated code coverage calculation. As you can see, the model analysis determined there are six imports, four calibrations, three displays, and three outports in the interface of the top-level subsystem. For every element, a hyperlink to the model is provided, allowing you to inspect the blocks, ports, and subsystems. For each signal, valuable information like data type, scaling, and min-max is directly identified. This information is available and valuable for many different tasks within BTC Embedded Platform, including test authoring, automatic test generation, boundary value analysis, and formal specification. When selecting a different subsystem, the context-sensitive dashboard automatically adapts its content and shows the interface of that subsystem, which can be independently tested on model in the loop, software in the loop, and processor in the loop levels. If the model you are testing changes, you can easily update your test project and all relevant test data will be adapted automatically. If the names of functions or interfaces change, they can be mapped to ensure consistency of all test data. We hope you've enjoyed this video of BTC Embedded Platform. Please also have a look at our other videos and don't hesitate to contact us if you have any further questions.